going to tell you a little bit about the Tadpole Elford Hook laptop. It comes in this very nice, stylish, um, genuine leather bag. And uh, I'm going to take it out now. There's something quite special about this laptop, and that is that it doesn't have an Intel processor. It was a company called Tadpole Technologies who made laptops that were basically laptop versions of Unix workstations. And one of the laptops they did had an alpha processor in it, the Tadpole Alphabook. And the Tadpole Alphabook was special even for Tadpole because it wasn't intended to run Unix, it was intended to run OpenVMS. So I'm going to put it down and open it up. Now, the battery in this sadly no longer holds a charge, so I have to plug in the charger. Which I'll do now. So now that there's a battery in there, a little LCD display shows system off. So let's turn it on. So the system starts up and first the processor goes through its serial ROM initialization and while this is happening there's no output yet because the video card hasn't been initialized. At a certain point you know, the firmware is far enough along that there is some video output and once that happens you can see the boot process. This takes quite a while while memory is being tested. Now this system has 128 megabytes of main memory, which is the maximum. And currently installed is a 512 megabyte hard disk. The largest hard drive available was a 1.2 gigabyte model. And these are two and a half inch SCSI hard disks. So this one is OpenVMS version 6.2 1H3 installed. And while VMS boots, I'll show you some of the accessories that this is located. So first of all, there's a docking station. And this plugs into the back of the unit. And then it offers connections for SCSI serial port, keyboard, VGA, um, floppy drive, mouse, and a parallel port. There's also three and a half inch floppy drive. And there is an external case for hard drives. Now the hard drives in this laptop plug into the external case a little difficult to take out but they come in these neat little plastic carrying cases so they plug right in or they plug into the side of the laptop now the internal battery, uh, which isn't present in this machine because it no longer holds a charge, but the internal battery was only good enough to power the 233 MHz um, processor for about an hour. So they also had an external battery pack, which is this one. It's quite heavy, <laughs> but on this battery pack the laptop could run for about four hours. Now there's two ways to use it. You can either attach to the back of the laptop like this or you snap this 
extension cable onto it, pull out the cable and plug the cable into the back of the laptop. That way you can comfortably rest the external battery pack on the floor while you work on the laptop. So by now VMS is booted and it brought, it's brought up the X Windows login screen. So I can start a session by logging in a system. And this will bring up the old Dex Windows, uh, Dex Windows, X Windows based environment. Um, so this, yeah, I can start an application. Start the clock. Now, this back in 1996, when this unit first came on the market, after it was announced in 1995, um, this was probably the most expensive laptop you could find. It was certainly the most powerful one with its 233 megahertz processor. And I have some original documentation here, including the user guide, startup guide, some brochures, and the other thing that came with it is the original price list. And so the Alpha Book itself, with 128 megabytes of RAM, was $20,450,000. Uh, in addition to that, you needed a um, license for the operating system, which was another 750 euros. The external battery pack is 445 euros. The leather carrying case was 195, so was the floppy drive. The um, uh, network card was 315 dollars, so there's an enormous price. So together with the accessories, this was probably around 25,000 dollars when it was new. Um, obviously, this wasn't a laptop for everyone, so it was mainly aimed initially at the military, where there was a lot of open VMS use and obviously a lot of money to throw around. Um, some of them were sold to consultants who needed to work on VMS systems for their clients and wanted to have something they could bring to the client. Um, but obviously not a great many of these laptops were uh, Salt, so they're quite sought after, and um, I actually have two of these. And this is the one that was given to me last weekend. Um, now, both of the systems I had were broken, but by combining some parts from the two, I was able to create one fully working system, uh, which is this one. So, I'm quite happy to add this to the collection, and I hope you enjoyed this little video. Thanks, and if there are any questions, just let me know and I'll be happy to answer them for you if I can. Bye.